Welcome to the lost hot dog stand where we trick you. We look like Lego, but we ain't. Looks like an ice cream got murdered there. Okay. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Here, help me out here. Ah, oh, fighting with it. Ah. Oh. Why am I confusing myself? That's another way to clean the bricks. Howdy y'all, welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and today we're looking at L-O-Z or is it laws? Are they laws? Not another alternative brick brand. There are thousands of them out there guys. But anyway, laws is probably one of the most deceiving brands out there because they are not Lego sized bricks, but they are not also nano block sized bricks. What you're seeing here is kind of in between. Very strange indeed. So I don't know how to classify this. Mini blocks? Mini blocks. We'll call them mini blocks? No, because then they'll be confused with nano blocks. They'll be confused with diamond blocks. But law says mini. We'll just call these guys mini. I'm sure just like many of you out there, I'm one of the guys who saw these pictures. I'm like, I got to get it. It looks amazing. These are going to be great in my city. And they come here and it's like, oh, they're not Lego size. Man, I got ripped off. Some of you have actually ordered from my site saying the same thing. Man. I thought this was gonna be regular sized bricks. Well, here I am to clarify that for you guys right now. Let's see if you like it or not. It's another alternative. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, let's check it out. Anyway, we'll start with the hot dog first. So this is Laws or L-O-Z hot dog cart. I just keep calling it a truck. Why do they call it a cart? Anyway, 1116, 1,317 pieces. Beep, beep. More food again. Man, always gotta be food. First things first, this is really smaller than the Lego size. Look how small this thing is. It can fit in the palm of my hand. But first impression of after building this thing, that's a lot of detail on this. I'm quite happy with it. I like it. I like the look of it. It looks pretty cool, but sadly, it is just not Lego brick size. How many times am I gonna say that? Now for a really quick comparison, this is a regular size Lego brick. This is not. Yeah, you got the clear now. So don't be all excited when you see a lost product and be like, <gasps> Lego doesn't make that, I gotta get it. And you're gonna get something much, much smaller. I'll review this one later, yeah, okay. But anyway, look at the detail on this thing. And there's a lot going on. So all the pieces are like shrunken Lego bits are almost exactly the same. So you really wanna know the size difference between this and Lego. Here we go, this is a quick comparison for you guys. Laws does have a brick separator, there it is. Yeah, L-O-Z, this is a Lego one. Look at that. Okay, here's a one by one brick. Ignore my hand, I know it looks nasty, but you get the size comparison there. And we'll put a regular Lego brick next to it. There you go. Yeah, different, right? It would not fit either way. Sorry, I don't have the same color, but you get the idea there of the size. They'll be gripping it like, oh, that's much smaller. So it is very deceiving. And finally, there's a little flower and a one by one. So you guys can actually see a difference there. Oh, the minifigure size, there you go. Scotty and the hot dog worker. I wouldn't know how to classify them. So the good thing is, unlike nano blocks, they're a little bit bigger, but they're still small. And the bad thing is you'll lose a lot of pieces still, and some pieces still feel a little bit loose to me. But overall, I thought this was actually a really fun build. And let's check it out. Look at all these details. Those are all stickers, by the way. No problem with these stickers. They're actually pretty okay quality-wise. They're just really super small. So we'll look on the front here. And yes, it does say Laws Mini on there. So this is considered a mini set anyway. It's actually very nice and curved. I like it. I like the sticker there. It says Hot Dog Truck. Then you got the bumper there. Again, the pieces might kind of fall off there because they're really small, man. And the single stud stuff, they just can tend to pop off. But I like the look of it. And then we come here to the side. Look at that. Doors open and close just fine. You got stickers on the door that says hot dog on both sides. You got the rear view mirror there. Those are stickers on the rear view mirror. Now inside, it's so small. Look how tiny it is in there. Look at the seats. They actually have like tiles on the seats. They could fit that in there. They even got a dashboard in there. Small little air con. Yeah, I think that's an air con. Gear shifter and a steering wheel. Man, that is small. So we come to this side here, which is kind of like the back of the truck because it's kind of like a food truck, right? I love the hot dog signs and Something interesting will happen with that later, which I'll show you guys, but it looks really nice along there. And you got a couple of windows and some flowers there. It's got some detail, I like that. And little vents up there. And you got the silver pipe. 
that had some smoke coming out. It's kind of weird how they put those two pieces on each other, but those are what, like candies in another set or cotton candies or popcorn. But you get the idea that it's smoke and you can kind of twist it a little bit to, to almost animate it. Yeah, the truck actually kind of looks animated here from the side, doesn't it? The wheels are super small and it's kind of tight when it rolls. It does roll a little bit. And sometimes the tires will just like roll off and pop off like that. See, that one just rolled off. I don't know why, it's a little bit loose there. But you know, I'm sure you're not gonna be rolling this thing around because you're gonna suck trying to put it all back together. Then we come around to the back. I like this, look at it. It's got a little windowsill there. You can't really open and close the windows unless you take the flowers out. But it's not crazy, that's like way smaller than Lego brick, but it's almost exactly the same. That's kind of nuts, man. They got a door, back door there with the stickers of Pauls on it. The door can't open up, it's really hard. Look, it's so small, I can't get it open. My hand can't fit inside there. It's tiny. Then you got the bottom bumper here, that is another sticker, Laws Mini again. And then there's a sign right here that keeps popping off on me because it's being held down up here by the tile. But that says, rest, pest, rest hot dog? Best hot dog, best hot dog, yeah. The B is kind of faded on my sticker. It looks like it says pest hot dog, what? Pest. But I really like this back. It looks really inviting, yeah? There's little steps coming up and they even put these transparent pieces above the door. It looks like little lights. Then we come to the front of the shop, which is on the side of the truck. Anyway, it's cool. Got a little awning on here. These pieces can like flop off here and there, but you can kind of move it up and down a little bit if you wanted to. I don't know why you want to put it like that. But yeah, it'll stay right there like that. I like the countertop. You got some mustard on there, some cash and a cashier and a display. And they have two cabinets on the bottom here. Again, stickers on there. Made with 100% beef. It's a very cool side. I like it indeed. It's very inviting. You got another sticker here. Fast food hot dog. Good, delicious. Takeaway food. My eyes are kind of like that because I have to like squint and look at this thing really closely. But I like the detail on it. And then we come to the top. Yay, the doggy! I like this dog. Can we take him off? We sure can. Look, watch. You can just buy it for this. I'd buy the set just for the dog. We wanted to look at the truck real quick on the top though. A nice rooftop here. You got two balloons and you got this flower bed there. It's a nice touch, it's actually pretty cool. That's why I like the details on this thing. Then we come to the little hot dog. So it's a little bit fragile, especially his head there it kind of pops off easy. So you have to be careful when you're building this thing. But I like it. It looks like wind going like that. The ears are being flapped through the back. Got a little tongue there, mouth, collar. Very cool, very cute. Stickers on the eyes. Nice detail and two stickers here that say hot dog on both sides. And you got the hot dog there with some mustard and relish. You got this little tail here, but look at this detail. Attention to details, guys. It's got a little butthole there. That might be a little bit too much. Once you place the doggy on there, that's about it. You just got a couple railings here and you got these little decorations of like, I guess these yellow things are lights and you got a little horn on the front there. And does the top come off? Yes, it does. Yay, we can take off the top. A little bit heavy there. We'll put this here. Go little doggy. Now we look on the inside. Wow, detail. It's all tiled on the inside. Man, I couldn't believe they fit this much stuff inside. They have one that has a single stud so you can actually put the employee there. It does have two little figures that come with it. They're really super small, but it's cool that they do come with the set. And let's see, let's look at the counter. Got a giant sticker there below with some keys, some notes, a list. And you got some drawers, those do not open up. There's the cash register again. You can see it from the side, that's another sticker. Lots of stickers, tiny stickers. And they even managed to squeeze a little stool there. That's pretty cool. And above that is another sticker. Looks like some jam and some small ingredients. So very nice, I like that. And then over here is the little kitchen area. Look at that, they were able to fit a sink, some plates on there. And underneath those dishes, they have a little sticker, a rag and some oven mitts. They even squeezed a clock up there in the corner. Then you got a little sticker up there, which is the recipe, how to make a hot dog. Then we come to the kitchen area. You got a drawer down there. Is there anything inside? I'm trying to open it. I can open it with my fingernail. There's nothing inside. You got a coffee machine above that. Yeah, nice coffee machine. Some cups there. Now next to the coffee machine, I'm guessing that's a stove. I'm not sure why I put a mug there, if that's in the manual or not, but I think I followed it. Now next to the stove is the grill and it's cooking a hot dog. See you guys, it's got a lot of detail for a small, tiny set like that. Even has some dishes underneath there. And there's a sticker there for the control of the unit. And then you got another little cabinet here. Look at that, and you open it up, it's got more hot dogs in there. Got a lot of hot dogs that come with the set. And then above there, you got the ketchup and the mustard. Okay, now that I got that back on, there's a cool little feature, but I gotta get the manual so we can do it together, right? Deer's holding it right now. Deer, yeah, you got the manual? I will 
call this thing a manual? Yeah, if you guys have this set and you know the manual, I, I don't like it, man. This is like terrible. You ready for this? Look at this. Laws, really? You had to do it like a poster? This is the manual right here. Oh man, why'd you guys have to do it like this? It's so huge, it's like a treasure map, right? So the crazy thing is, that's just the first one. It comes with two. Look at this. Excuse me while I try to look at this. Okay, here we go. I'll put this here in front. Yeah, it's not good, man. So now we can actually take this hot dog sign to pop it off. Boop, look at that. Another secret sticker hidden under there. Woohoo! Look at that. Yeah. Now we can see the kitchen from there. So the idea is to take off these balloons. You can go like that. There, the balloons are out. By the way, Lost actually gives you a lot of spare parts, so that is kind of good. Lots of parts that you can lose. So we take out this little piece right here. We put it together like this. Put this here. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's actually pretty cool. Even though it's really small, it's got a lot of cool little detail for a little set like that, yeah? And it does come with this little side table right here. Super fragile. Everything wants to fall off. But it does have a lot of stickers. Man, it uses a whole sticker to cover up the entire table on the top. Mm, it kind of like pushes the pieces here and there. You might want to just try it without it first. And they do use stickers here for the seat part. So again, those ones are actually okay. But you might like it without the stickers. And this umbrella does use a sticker on there. Kind of didn't really fit that great together. It's a nice addition. I like it. It's got a little flower pot there. Tissue holder, ketchup mustard, and a little drink. And finally, you got this little sign to top it off. And it's very simple. Has stickers on both sides. Hot dog open. And the other one says, moon. There's the moon. Maybe the menu. What happened, guys? And as I mentioned, they do come with a couple of little figures here. They look just like Lego counterparts, but these guys are so, so small. Look at them, how small they are. What's funny is their knees actually bend. That is Kind of crazy. All right, we'll look at the girl first. This lady printing actually looks fine on these guys. They're just really small. She has a star necklace. She's wearing a sweater and she has this really colorful yellow pastel type colored hair. Nice little smile. Hello, lady. Please buy some more hot dogs. Whatever you're called. Are you called a minifigure or are you called them like a mini, mini, minifigure? Or you are, I don't know what you are. Same for this guy. I don't know how to classify you, sir. We have a nice, Bright smile there, and I like his outfit. He's ready to cook you some hot dogs. Look at that, it's even got a smiley face on there, little ribbon, apron, and he's got his hat already. Yeah, he looks good, very cool. Very delicate, you need delicate hands to touch all the stuff. We're done with this one. Let's go to the next one, here we go. So this is Lars Mini Blocks Ice Cream Van. 1112, 1, 1,244 pieces. Now, just like the hot dog truck, man, Lost, why you gotta be like this? What kind of a manual is this? Please do not do poster style stuff. Just look at this bad boy. Look at them wheels. I really like the wheels on this one. It's actually pretty cool. How does it roll? I'm not sure. Will it fall off? No, it rolls better than a hot dog truck for sure. Look at that thing. Yeah. Again, this is not Lego brick size. So, oh. The front looks pretty cool. Again, all stickers here. Little sticker on the top that says ice cream. And yeah, the rooftop that you're seeing. I think the one thing I didn't like is the edges of the rooftop. There's too many small pieces and it kind of just doesn't look smooth. We'll come back to the rooftop later. But continuing down, the ice cream, you got this little like windshield wiper piece. I'm not sure it goes up and down. It has a little light there. It's kind of cool. At least it's not just a plain windshield. And you got the sticker of a little, I don't know what that is, bullseye target looking thing. Look at all them grills. And look, it actually says Laws on the bricks. So you know that this is a Laws brand. But man, they flipped the printing upside down on that. So now that's gonna really irritate some of you. Got the headlights, another license plate. It's the same one as the hot dog Laws mini there. They're calling this a creator set. I'm not sure why, but it does not come with any figures. So there are no figures with this. So we come to the side here. You got the rear view mirrors there, plain, simple. I did not like the rim parts here. They're kind of like really loose can become like a crazy vehicle weapon thing like a video game, just like that. I'm just kidding, okay, I put those back. So I guess this side is kind of the back because the other side is where you actually buy the ice cream. So they did it the opposite way? Yeah, they did it the opposite as a hot dog. But anyway, so the back side here has two giant stickers of some ice cream. Again, the quality of the stickers are actually pretty okay. Oh, found a typo. 
Ice Team. Yes, we are the Ice Team, and we're on Pick Me Up Scotty. Now someone's getting fired for doing this sticker. But that rooftop there, again, it says yum yum ice cream, but it's going over all these little pieces. These are just, it looks unnatural, this rooftop. I just don't like that part. But I do like the, the pink and the color here. It's a very girly color, but it's nothing wrong with that. It looks good, except here on the door where it says open and it has like two more pieces. It's like, oh, we don't have pieces, so we'll just make stickers instead. It looks really weird. But the door does slide open and close. Oh no, it's not open. There it goes, now it's opening. It just hasn't been open in a while. Then we come to the back. Well, they have two doors here. I had some issues with my door. I had two missing pieces. They were kind of minor, but I was able to kind of share it across the two doors so I can complete it here for the video for you guys. But it's a little bit flimsy, a little bit loose. But it does open up like that. We'll open the side here. A little bit tight there like that. So there you go. And you have more stickers. Going across the tiles that say ice cream handmade. And another sticker there that says open. Eight to 20? It opens pretty late. Got some headlight there. It just looks like so many little pieces, but I do like the construction of the door on the back. That was actually pretty cool. Then we come to this side here, which again, this rooftop, there's like so many pieces here. Just, it kind of irritates me, but I just kind of wish it was just more like less bricks. Okay, kudos for them for actually just trying to make something like this, right? You have another sliding door here. Does it open? Come on, yeah. So as you can see, it's not quite perfect, but it does open and close when you force it to. Got another little counter there. You can't really see it unless you go on the inside, which we're gonna go inside in a second. Little mismatched color up there with the purple and yellow. I don't know if that kind of goes with the theme, but oh, it's okay. Two more stickers on each side. One side says new. I guess that's the menu. And the other side is your choices of what you wanna pick for ice cream. Now it's time to get some ice cream. Let's open this thing up. It does come off very easy, so that's nice. We'll come back to the rooftop in a bit. Look on the inside, look at that. Yay, yay. Clap your hands. It's tiled, everybody. I really like the colors here. This looks good on the inside. You got two chairs that do recline, very nice. You got a gear shift in the middle, nice and long. And there's the dashboard. Steering wheel, you got more stickers, the speedometer and all that, those are all stickers. And we come to the back here. We'll look at the counter there. You got three different kinds of ice cream. You got chocolate, matcha, and strawberry. Some money there, $100 bills because this is gourmet ice cream. And you got the cash register there, sticker again on top, but it's got detail on it, it even costs $95. Man, that's expensive. And they have this tiny sink there, got a little bit of a gap behind it though. Probably just like a design thing, I'm not sure. Did I make this wrong? No, that's right. Yeah, I guess I couldn't fit a whole sink in there. And you can't open this cabinet down there. Why, why can't I open that? Anyway, sink looks cool. Got two mugs hanging there, nice little detail. And then we come to the other side. Who look at all that ice cream. Oh, I like this countertop. It kind of can open up a little bit, but it hits the clock there above. And speaking of, there's another clock. And you got another sign there with the menu, ice cream, one, two, three, choose what you like. But yeah, I like this cooler piece. That's actually pretty neat. You got some ice cream in there, can, you know, vanilla, strawberry, more chocolate. And besides the ice cream, you got these two little things there, like a shake, I guess, frozen shake, Yo frozen yogurt. I don't know, I don't know what that is. So underneath that, you got a nice long sticker again. You got some keys, list, this is just like the hot dog truck. But now you have some fruit there, strawberry, pineapple, and grapes. Then we come to the ice cream machine here. Look at the cones, lots of cones and some drawers that don't open up again. And I guess this is like a milkshake machine or the ice cream machine and underneath this is like a transparent cabinet. That is it, it's really small, but I like it, a lot of detail. Then we come to the final part, which is the rooftop part. So as I mentioned multiple times, I just don't like the edges here. It looks like it can kind of come loose. The white kind of looks a little bit grimy on mine, like faded. But I do like the little ice cream here. That's kind of cool and spin. And I like how they really put the melted ice cream look on there. That was actually pretty cool. And you got some more like little pipes here and there with the lights. Speakers, I guess those are speakers, yeah. And look, it even has a little detail there of like the ice cream melting and it's dropping down the side. Detail, pretty good. Okay, let's flush this all back. Let's see if I can get this rooftop down tight here. Dear, what do you think? I just wish it was normal size bricks. We had to compare the two together. So it's not bad, right? I mean, okay, it's not Lego size, but it's still pretty good, right? A lot of attention to detail. A lot of you are actually buying more of this than this, but I still like this one. It's just, yeah, look at the wheels, man. It does look like a lowrider ice cream truck. Kind of crazy looking. Yeah, but you get an idea. Oh man, I gotta do a drop test on these guys, right? Oh, okay, I'm not gonna drop this one too high because I deserve to drop it a little less because these are smaller pieces and I know it's gonna break. Okay, here we go. Hot dog chuck, drop test. Five. Four, three, two, one.
No, oh, I lost the sign. Oh, his body came off. Where did his body go? Oh, I found him. I found him in my basket. He fell in the basket. Found him. That is exactly why I don't like doing drop tests. See if I can put the dog back on here. He survived. He almost survived there. Ice cream truck. Oh, man. Come on, dear. Count down for me. Oh, I didn't look at where these pieces are flying off to. Hey, hey, it's in one piece, look at that. Oh, yeah, I can see right here, above here, above the wheels. It's a little bit flimsy there, so you have to be careful when you're building that part. Now I remember, my memories are coming back and it's haunting me. That's why I don't want to review this. I'm just kidding, it's not that bad, it's pretty good. Okay, so it's dimension times, but it doesn't make sense to actually measure these guys up because they're not compatible with Lego. But here they are on a Lego base plate, and as you can see from the video, there's a couple mini figures there. So you guys can get an idea of the size and the scale. Now, if you really wanted to know the dimensions of like the hot dog chuck and the ice cream chuck, if I were to put this here, just so you know, the width of the hot dog chuck is eight studs. As for the length, you know, I'm just guessing on most of these, you know, just to give you a rough idea. It's around 20 studs by length. And now let's check the height. So break out your one by four bricks. Here's mine so you can stack it up. I'm gonna put this right to the doggy's head. That is 13 bricks in height. Now let's check the ice cream van. So for the width of the ice cream van, if I go like this, it's kind of roughly around 10, maybe 11 studs by width. And then for the length, you're looking at kind of roughly around 23 studs by length. Sorry, lady, knocked you over. Now let's check the height. Stand this right here. Put it next to the ice cream. It's more or less there. It's touching the top of the ice cream. That is around 12 bricks in height. There you go. Your very strange dimensions. Hopefully that helps you out as much as it did for me. <sighs> well, that was fun, right, dear? That wasn't so bad. Yeah, but I'm ready to move on. Cool. All right, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this channel. If you want to see more laws, hit me up. Let me know in the comments. Just type more laws right now hurry up all right you guys until next time pick me out now i can't remember if this is the first official review of them or have i reviewed them before laws when the characters bend their knees like that they look like they can twerk twerk it girl no wonder they don't have figures that come with the ice cream truck look how massive that looks Almost looks like normal, regular Lego size. Let's slide this all back here now. The wheel came off again. Hmm. I wonder what Deer and Scotty would think about this. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Are you hurt? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. But what are you doing on the road? The real question is, what are you guys doing here? Those regular brick-sized vehicles are not allowed on this road. Hey, wait a minute. But this road is a regular brick size. What are you talking about? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm a bit quite confused myself. But anyway, have a hot dog. Everyone's lining up for hot dogs. It's really good. Yeah, actually, I could use a hot dog right now. I'm kind of hungry. Oh, man. Well, I'm bringing an ice cream truck. And I can't eat hot dogs, remember? I'm a deer. All right, dear. I'll see you later. Have fun over there. Ooh, go try a chili dog. Hey there, how can I help you today? Well, it only took three hours to get to the front of this line. Whew. I'll have a chili dog, please. All right, one chili dog coming right up. Now, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but we're so popular. In fact, why don't you come on up to the kitchen? I'll give you a tour. Nice. Whoa. Hey, nice kitchen. You know what, though? Everything's super small. I can't even hold the chili dog in my hand, and the cup is so tiny. Well, listen, I don't know where you came from, but look. All right, now this is getting a little bit weird. I gotta go find deer. Ooh, look at all this ice cream. It's time to eat. Yum, yum, yum. Deer, the guy in the hot dog shop's kind of weird. How you doing over here? Well, the ice cream's good. But it's all gone already. It's so small, I can eat the whole thing. And that grass pad over there won't open up. I can't get to those ones. Oh, man. Let's just get out of here. Why are we here anyway? I don't know. I think Big Scotty just wanted us here to do a size comparison. Anyway, hmm, hey, I'm gonna take some cones over there. This hot dog keeps falling out of my hand. 
Maybe this will fit in there. Hey, 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 check that out, dear. Ice cream cone can fit in my hands. Take that, Lego brick. This thing is slightly compatible. It's kind of weird, though. Hot dog in a cone. Don't mind if I eat this. Scotty, sometimes I just don't know what you're doing. Dear, it doesn't matter. Most importantly, I can fit in this seat and we can drive out of here. Let's drive for the next set because that's what Big Scotty would want us to do. <sighs> there you go again. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you want more laws, let Scotty know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and buy this set on the store, bigmeupscotty.com. Woohoo! And don't forget to also support his Amazon page, We can buy even more sets that he doesn't even have. Spend more money! Alright you guys, catch you later. See ya! Wait a minute, Scotty! Why are we driving this van? We left the other one behind! We don't even know where we got the other one from! Doesn't matter, man! It's got ice cream in here! We got all the ice cream in the world! Just be really small! Eat up now!